Well, you will remember that we, our avowed intention some time ago now was to work our way as providence permitted through this book of Acts of the Apostles. Notice we do not say the Acts of the Apostles, but rather Acts. Because really, this book focuses upon Peter, upon Paul, and one or two others. But the entire, the entire apostolate is not represented here in their several actions. And we know that many of them had, had more to do than is recorded here. However, I think you will agree that our investigations into this book, albeit they are sporadic and uh, there is much time goes between them, uh, nevertheless it has yielded a great deal of information and fruit to us. And uh, just if we recapitulate for a moment before we turn to chapter 6 properly, uh, you will remember that um, this book has taken us from the ascension of Christ. That's really where it starts and it leads us into the, the terrible fear which the apostles and disciples experienced after the Lord was raised. They were cowering and frightened and they had removed themselves from public uh, display, you may say. But the, uh, uh, what was to follow immediately after this, of course, was Pentecost and the coming of the Holy Spirit in unprecedented power. That's the second chapter of Acts tells us about that in some detail. A wonderful outpouring of the Spirit. An